working on, Oliver? Oh, well, my mom's making me write all these thank you cards to all the people who came to my birthday party. That looks like a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Hope they gave some good gifts. Doesn't matter. She said I have to give one to all of my family friends, even if they didn't even give a present. Do they know you're writing? Maybe we can all help write them. That wouldn't be right. If Oliver's mom says that he has to do it, he should probably do it. Not that I don't want to help or anything, Oliver. You know that. I know. I just think it's a little crazy that I have to do this. I mean, what do I say to the people who just showed up for some cake? You say something like, Dear Riley, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come to my party. It was so good to see you. I'm glad we got to catch up. And end with, I hope next time you have enough money to buy me a gift. Guys, seriously, I really hope you're kidding. Yeah, you should be grateful they came, even if they didn't bring you a gift. I am. I was just kidding. But I do think having to send all these thank you cards is a bit extreme. I asked my mom if I could email them and said, but she said they had to be handwritten. That makes sense. There's something special about getting something in the mail. Listen, in 10 minutes, Beach Club starts. How many of those cards do you have? 15. <laughs> Here. How about we help you on the addresses while you work on the cards? That'll get you a jump start on finishing them up. I'm game for that. Me too. Now, Oliver, is this an S or a 5? Seriously, Oliver, I hope you write these thank you cards more legibly than the addresses. I'll try, but some of these addresses were written by my dad. And everyone says I'm just like him with my writing. Somehow, I don't think that's a compliment. Probably not, but... It is what it is. Okay, so here's the list of addresses, here's the envelopes, and here's the stamps. Alex, you're in charge of the stamps. I don't trust you to write these any better than me. That's a good plan. I wouldn't trust him either. <laughs> All I can say is I have a new appreciation for whoever invented the dishwasher. I can't believe how many dirty dishes we have in one day. Well, you do have six kids, Jason. I know, but look at these dishpan hands. <laughs> it's just another thing that Terry does all the time that I take for granted. She is such a saint. I got to do something to let her know how much I appreciate her. Hey, guys, come on in and have a seat. <clears throat> Jason, I have an idea. How about I babysit for you, and you can take Terry to her favorite restaurant? That would be awesome. How quickly can we do this? Mm, I think as soon as your dishwasher is fixed, I'll be <laughs> right over. <laughs> That's a good deal. How's everybody's week going so far? Pretty good. Okay. Yeah, awesome. I was just telling Jordan about how our dishwasher broke at our house. Man, dishes are piling up everywhere. Mm. That's off limits at my house. We have a dishwasher, but my mom freaks out if we pile up the dishes. She has this little sign that says clean and dirty. Mm -hmm. So what happens if it says clean and you have dirty dishes? That means the dishwasher needs to be emptied. Right? Yep. First person to dirty a dish has to empty the dishwasher. I think I'd go hungry before being the first person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of used to it now. There's two things that my mom goes crazy over. The trash can overflowing and the dishes in the sink piling up. I think I have an idea about what you mean. Does anybody else have something going on? Well, we were just working on these thinking cards that I have to write. Riley and Kenny are addressing them for me, and Alex is in charge. I'm in charge of stamping them. But I still have 12 more to write. I wish I could print these things out. Well, I think sending thank you cards in the mail is something that's almost unheard of these days. Good for you, man. I'm only doing them because my mom says I have to. I mean, I even have to send thank you cards to the people who came but didn't even bring any gifts. Okay, well let's revisit that later, okay? Because that right there leads into our character word for the week. And it sounds like it fits right in with what we need to hear. Somehow it always does. <laughs> Go for it, Jordan. Well, would you believe this week we're focusing on thankfulness? Of course <laughs> we are. Okay, now how would we define thankfulness? Appreciating someone. How so? Well, when you appreciate someone, you're grateful for them. Y'all are right, but there's another element missing. Thankfulness is being grateful and saying so. Just like the cards Oliver has to write. 
He's expressing his thankfulness, or at least trying to. <laughs> right, but it's important to have the right attitude while you express your thankfulness. Oliver, I have a challenge for you. While you write these cards, don't think of it as a chore. Instead, imagine that you're really talking to these people face to face, thanking them for coming to your party. He'd be a little bit more grateful if some of them would have brought a big gift. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, I was just kidding about that. Well, kind of. But anyway, that's a good idea, Jordan. I'm going to try that on the next one, all right? Now, who can tell me three things that you're thankful for? I don't have three things, but I can tell you I'm glad I'm not at Riley's house when I'm the first one to dirty a dish. <laughs> me too. I think I would really starve to death. <laughs> Well, I can think of three things. Well, they aren't things, but people. Kenley, Riley, and Alex. Without them, I'd still probably be trying to read my dad's handwriting on those addresses. <laughs> Sounds like your dad is a lot like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a dad rule. Write so no one can tell if you're misspelling something. <laughs> oh, and kids, do not try this at home. It's very important for your teacher to understand what you're writing. That's a dad rule only. <laughs> Hey everyone, woohoo! That's right, Pastor Mark is back again, and I'm so excited to be here. Our Bible story today is found in the New Testament book of Luke. Luke is the third book of the New Testament. Luke chapter 17, starting in verse 11. It's on page 1133 of your kids' Beach Club Study Bible. Our story is about 10 guys who met Jesus. Now, these weren't just 10 regular guys. They were men who had a very contagious disease called leprosy. Leprosy was a terrible sickness that caused spots on the skin. These 10 men were outcasts in their village because of their disease. No one wanted to be around them because everyone was afraid of catching leprosy. So these 10 men couldn't even live with their family members because of fear of spreading their disease. Can you even imagine that? Well, Jesus was walking through the towns of Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering one of the villages, like where I am today, way off in the distance were these 10 men. They had to stand far away so they wouldn't spread their disease to anyone. When they saw Jesus, we see in verse 13 that they yelled, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And right there, from the far distance, Jesus did a miracle and healed them. Jesus told them, go, show yourselves to the priests. Now the reason they had to go to the priests was because someone official had to validate that they no longer had this horrible disease. It's, well, it's almost like getting a doctor's note saying you were well enough to return to school. Well, sure enough, those 10 men went to the priests and they were all miraculously healed. Now, how many of those 10 men do you think showed thankfulness for being healed? Hmm? Only one. And this one man, well, he wasn't even a Jewish man. He was a Samaritan, a foreigner in the land but he was so thankful Jesus had healed him that he fell down on his face at Jesus' feet, giving thanks. Jesus stopped and said to the one thankful Samaritan man, weren't there 10 of you who were healed? Where are the other nine? <laughs> then in verse 19, we see Jesus told the Samaritan to stand up because his faith had made him well. You know what that meant? Not only did Jesus heal the man from his leprosy, but Jesus healed his sin too. Now, listen, those 10 men, all of them, received a ginormous gift from Jesus, didn't they? We would expect them to go thank Jesus for this great gift, but only one actually did. Now, it can be hard to remember to say thank you to others, but sometimes it's especially hard to remember to say thank you to God. Sometimes we only remember to really thank God for our blessings during certain times of the year, like Thanksgiving. But it's important to thank God every day 
and to thank others when God uses them to be kind to us. You know, just like Jesus healed the thankful leper's disease and forgave his sin, Jesus can heal us from sin when we put our faith in him. You can show your faith in Jesus by believing God's word is true. God's word tells us God's plan for how people can become followers of Jesus. Hey, it's as simple as ABC. Admit you're a sinner and ask Jesus to forgive your sin and come into your life. Next, believe that Jesus' sacrifice paid the debt for your sin, and then choose to follow Jesus by turning away from your sin and choosing God's way rather than your own way. Wow, I can't believe we're out of time already. Listen, kids, show thankfulness to everyone. Don't be like those nine lepers. Be like the one who came back in faith to thank Jesus. Okay, so this week's memory link from Pastor Mark's study is Luke chapter 17, verse 15a. Luke chapter 17, verse 15a. Y'all got it? Now, it can be found in your Kids Beach Club study Bible on page 1133 at the very bottom, and then it continues on to the next page. Now, remember, the A just means we're focusing on the first part of the verse. And here's a little reminder. Sometimes you might see this verse with some dot, dot, dots in the middle. That just means we're going to skip a few words and pick up at the end. Why are we leaving out part of it? That is a great question. It's not that it's less important. It just means it makes it easier to understand. And definitely easier to memorize. Mm -hmm. This one's pretty short. Yeah. That's right. So there should be no excuse <laughs> for you not memorizing. All right? Here we go. Let's read it together, shall we? Yep. Yeah. Luke, Luke 17, 15, 15a. And, and one, one of them, them with, with a loud voice glorified God. God. Luke 17, 15a. So here in this verse, glorified means to be thankful. I thought glorified meant to praise God. Well, you're both kind of right. Here it means to honor and praise. And the healed man honored and praised God with a loud voice. <laughs> and by doing that, he was very thankful, right? I don't know. If I yelled in a loud voice to my mom and dad, I think I'd be in trouble. They wouldn't think I'd be showing thankfulness. Well, think of it this way. When you're super excited about something, you naturally get louder, don't you? I know I do. Especially when something exciting is happening, like you're going to explode. Well, I think that's kind of how the man who was healed felt. He was so excited he could hardly stand it. That's why he yelled with a loud voice. That makes a whole lot more sense now. All right, to learn this memory leak, we're going to play some good old fashioned jump rope. And I tell you, it's been a long time since I've jumped rope. So I'll be in charge of twirling the jump rope. Oh, Jason, you're not going to get <laughs> off that easy. If I'm in, you're in. Ah, uh, we'll see about that. All right, uh, everybody stand over here. Let's say it one more time together before we start. That's good. That's a good choice. Here we go. Ready? Luke, Luke 17, 15, 15A. And, and one of them, them with, with a loud voice, glorified God. God. Luke, Luke 17, 15A. All right, who is the one of them that's going to go first? I'll go. All right, here we go. Don't forget, say the verse, everybody, even if you're not jumping. Ready? Yep. Go. Luke 17, 15, A. And one of them with a the loud voice, glorify God. Luke 17, 15, A. Come on, next up. Keep it going. Ready? Go. Luke 17, 15, A. And one of them with I can't hear you. Glorified God. Luke 17, 15, A. Okay. Now, guys, I need to hear a loud voice. Y'all are still being a little soft with me. All right, here we go. Ready? Go. Luke 17, Come on. Get louder. And one of them with a loud voice. Got this. Ready? Whoa. Ready? Go. 
Loop 17. Try it again. Try it again. Ready? Go. Loop 17, 15, 8. And one of them with loud voice. Glorify God. Loop 17, 15, 8. Hey, okay. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let's turn it. Go. Go. Let's turn this way. Watch this. Say the verse. Luke 17, 15, 8. And one of them with a loud voice. Glory to God. Luke 17, 15, 8. Come on, George. And one of them with a loud voice. Oh, good job, everybody. After I ordered, it took him 45 minutes to serve my macaroni and cheese and even spilled it. I don't know. I mean, are we still supposed to say thank you? I think that's taking it a little bit too far. I don't think so. It may be their job, but everyone likes to be appreciated. It's just common courtesy. I don't always acknowledge them, but I'm going to start trying. I'm with Riley on this one. Think about it. It's my job to take out the garbage at home and... When you remember to take out the garbage at home. True that. But when I do remember, my mom tells me thank you. And it definitely makes me feel good and appreciated. I guess writing these cards isn't so bad if it makes them feel good and appreciated. I guess you're right, but this brain right here is going to have to do some major reprogramming if I'm going to actually show more thankfulness in my life. For me, all it takes is having to write out these cards. I'm definitely going to make sure people know how thankful I am from here on out. Me too. Seriously, Beach Club this week has me thinking about a lot of things, and I hate it when that happens. <laughs> you and me both, Alex. And you're right, Oliver. It feels good to be appreciated even when it's your job. I know all your friends are really going to appreciate those handwritten cards. That is, if they can read your handwriting. Guys, you're welcome. Great. Now we owe you a thank you too? I thought I said thank you for helping me address these cards. Yes, you did. And again, you're welcome. OK, I'll bite. Thank you, Riley. But why am I thanking you? Oh, I get it. I agree with Riley. You're welcome, guys. Thank you to you both. OK, we said it. Now, what's up? Well, you're welcome for me keeping track of the time. You guys would be late for everything if it weren't for this girl right here. It's time for Make It Stick, so you're welcome. Now, let's go. That's right, boys and girls. It's time for Make It Stick! And now our host, Steve Harley! <laughs> yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Today's Make It Stick game is called Tick Tack Thankfulness. All right, here's our work. Over here, we have the red team. Yeah! And you will be the X's, and over here, we have the blue team. Yeah! Oh, boy. You will be the O's. All right. X is you will go first. If you answer the question correctly, you get to place your X on the board of the Tic Tac Thankfulness. And guys, if you get the answer correct, going second, you get to place an O on the board of the Tic Tac Thankfulness. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Let's do this. Let's do this then. All right, let's get started. Question number one to the red team. How many lepers were in today's story? I know this one. Nine or ten? It was ten. Ten. Ten is the correct answer. You get to place an X on the board. Um, bottom right? Yeah. yeah bottom, bottom right. right. Here it is. There it is. Okay. Boys, what did Jesus do for the lepers? <laughs> he healed their diseases. He healed their diseases. Yes, where should your O go? Yeah, middle right. The middle right. All right, here we go, ladies. Where did Jesus tell the lepers to go? Something about priests, so. Priest? To the priest. To the priest. Yes, that is correct. 
Well, would you place your X? Yeah, top, top left. left. Top left. Oh, look at this board. Mm, pretty interesting. Pretty, pretty interesting, boys. Your question is, how many lepers returned to thank Jesus? Okay. There was one, Steve. One is correct. You get to place your own on the board. Please place this in the correct place. Um, center. The center. All right, here we go. The center. Here it is. Next question. Ladies, what did the one leper do to thank Jesus? He, he glorified him, glorified him loudly, and fell down on his feet at Jesus' feet. <laughs> yes! Yes, that answer is correct. That answer is correct. Where would you like to place your X on the board? Um, I would say left middle. middle. Left middle. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's heating up. Blue team, what did Jesus say made the thankful leper well? His truth. His truth. His truth. Is that your truth? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> your truth is incorrect. That is not the correct answer. It's the faith. correct answer is faith. His faith made him well. <laughs> oh, well. Let's go on to the next question. Oh, my goodness. Ladies, you have this chance. Recite today's memory link. You got this one, Kinley. Okay, um, right. Luke 17, 15a, and one of them with a loud voice glorified God. Luke 17, 15a. That is correct. <laughs> oh, all right. Where are you going to place this at? Bottom left. Oh, bottom left. That means red team wins. Great job, everyone. Great job. And we'll see you next time on No Hey. Good morning, guys. What <laughs> game did you play today? Tic Tac Thankfulness. We were the X's and we won. Well, statistically, it is a proven fact that in Tic Tac Toe, the X's win more times than the O's. Right. You went first, so of course you were going to win. I demand a rematch because that game was fixed. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, I think you might be right. The one who goes first normally wins the most time, but. This time, I think the girls may have just outsmarted you. Exactly. Sounds like a good time to change the subject. <laughs> so, how are you all doing on your hang ten challenge? I'm on a roll. Two weeks without missing a day. Nice. I'm on a roll, too. That's great, Kenley. Yeah, she's on two days. Hey, it's still a roll. <laughs> well, I've been trying, but I kind of got my priorities mixed up during my birthday. I was doing good up until then, but I'm going to get back on track today. Well, listen, just do your best and God will honor it. Spend at least 10 minutes a day reading your Bible and praying. Now, let's take a minute to talk about what we've learned this week. I've learned that I should invite less people to my birthday parties. <laughs> I only have four more cards to write now, but my hand is cramping up like crazy. Seriously? Seriously? What? I'm kidding. I promise I'm just kidding. I hope so. I learned that I can't take anything for granted. I can't just assume people know that I'm thankful. I have to take the extra step to say so, just like our definition. And I learned how important it is to thank God for the blessings he gives us, just like the leper in our story. I can't believe he was the only one out of 10 to come back and thank Jesus for healing him. How about you, Alex? Well, for starters, I learned to never go to Riley's house when the dishwasher's full. And then I learned I better not show up at Oliver's house without a gift. <laughs> <laughs> and third, I learned I better make sure my parents know how thankful I am, or they'll start making me write thank you notes like Oliver. <laughs> okay, guys, you're acting like this is the worst thing in the world. But listen, think about how it makes someone feel when you take time to show them that you're thankful. I was only kidding. I hope you know that. I really am thankful for Beach Club. Without you guys, I would have never learned how to make Jesus my forever friend. And we are so excited that you did, Alex. Yes. And seriously, 
I know I've complained a lot about these, but I did my very best to write everyone a heartfelt note, and I think they're going to be happy when they read it. And that's why thankfulness is so important. Let's wrap this up. Wait, 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 wait. I got one more thing. Now, I also understand why the leper screamed with a loud voice. Why is that? Because when I finish these cards, that's what I'm going to be doing too. Uh -huh. I'm going to be praising <laughs> Jesus for letting me finish them all. Screaming with a loud voice and glorifying God, just like the leper. That's so good, Oliver. It kind of brings our story home a bit, doesn't it? Well, let's wrap this up. Thankfulness on three. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Thankfulness! Thankfulness!